So in this video, we're going to talk about soft starters for air conditioners when used for an off-grid solar power system like a complete home backup, and when you should actually use these, because they're pretty darn expensive, but if you design your system right, they'll actually save some money, and I'll also teach you how to install them. Even if you have no experience working on HVAC equipment, you should be able to install one of these. It's easier than a car stereo or something like that. Now, before we talk about installing them, let's see if you actually need one. So if you're trying to run your entire house's panel off of an off-grid solar power system, or you have a complete home backup battery like a Tesla Powerwall or an EP cube, and you are using a transformerless inverter circuit, which a lot of them today are, it is highly recommended to install soft starters on any of your traditional air conditioners. And this is because it reduces the startup current required to start this compressor's motor in the condenser unit. And what that means is instead of having 100 amps to start this thing, it can start with only 25 to 30 amps. And reducing the current by that much will reduce the stress on the circuit. And in theory, it will increase its longevity. Also, you can get by with using a smaller inverter. They cost a lot less money. Because if you buy a transformerless inverter that can start one of these without a soft starter, you're gonna spend a lot of money. And the larger your inverter is, the higher the idle consumption, which means more solar panels and more battery. Now, let's say you do not have a transformerless high frequency inverter and you have a massive LF inverter that can actually run this, like a Schneider or a large Victron. In that case, you probably don't need it if you size it properly, but you have to ensure that the surface capacity is large enough to safely start your compressor and if it's undersized you're gonna have to still buy a soft start anyways now when would you not want to buy a soft starter first off if you have a grid tie system only and you have no battery backup I would not install one of these next if you have an off-grid system that's running a critical loads panel and the air conditioner is not on that panel then I would not install a soft start now let's say you live in a small house and you do not use your air conditioner and you've replaced it with lots of mini split heat pumps like what I've done in my house then you don't need to install a soft start and you can probably disable your air conditioner unless you need it for an emergency that's pretty much what I'm doing in my house I've installed like eight heat pumps so I can run everything off of solar and those slowly ramp up with their inverter circuit so I don't need to worry about a soft starter on those it only applies to these large tra traditional split systems but for most people with an off-grid system running their home and if you have one of these traditional air conditioners you're probably going to want to install a soft start the first step is disconnecting power so there should be a box next to your air conditioner you want to open it up and there should be something that you can pull oops and then take this piece and put it on top now that we have no power we can safely remove these covers now, when you first look inside, it's a little intimidating if you're not used to seeing bundled wires, but I promise you it's very simple. So first off, in the instructions, it wants you to try to find one of these modules. This one's called a CoreSense Diagnostics, but there's a couple others that they mention in the manual. If you have one of these, there's gonna be some more steps for setting up your system. Because mine has it, I had to actually connect this to 240 volts change the settings, disconnect it from power, and then install it into the system. Now on this air conditioner, there is no module. So I could just take this out of the box and install it directly to the air conditioner without any modification. Now the soft start can be mounted on the wall like I did, or you can put it somewhere inside of here if you have room. Or you can put it over here, but just ensure that this connector is facing down. It recommends not to have this upside down so that water will not get in. Next, you wanna run the cable into the box. And there is a hole on the bottom of both of my air conditioners, and I bent this piece of metal so I can run the wire up like this. Next, you're gonna have four wires, an orange, a white, a brown and a black. And typically you're gonna start with the orange one. You want to install it with a spade connector wherever the yellow wire is on the capacitor. And it's a good idea to discharge the capacitor before you work on it. And you can do that with a screwdriver by shorting out the terminals. 
This will ensure that there's no potential inside of this capacitor. Next, the instructions will help you identify this red wire that goes out to the compressor. And you want to connect it to the brown wire with either a butt splice connector or a spade connector. And then the last two wires are the white and the black. And the white one will go where the red one comes from the contactor and goes up to the capacitor. So you'll see this red wire back here and the manual will have pictures for different configurations. You're going to want to connect the white wire right next to it with the spade connector and then the black will go where all the other blacks are. So you'll notice there's two other black wires. You just want to stick this right next to them. Something else to know is you can buy an installation kit for this that comes with the spade connectors. So if you don't have these around your house, I highly recommend buying that kit. Now it's slightly different on this one, but again, we have a yellow wire. We're going to connect the orange up here. We found the red wire over here. We connect it to the brown and then we have the white and the black. The black goes where all the other blacks are. The white goes where the red wire goes up to the capacitor. And that's pretty much it. Now we can add the cover and give it some power. Now I'm gonna connect power without the cover on because I wanna measure the inrush, but I do not recommend beginners doing this. Do not put this back in until you have the cover back on. Now I have an inrush clamp meter and we're gonna put this around the brown wire. And then I'm gonna add power. And then I'm going to go turn on the air conditioner inside. Look at that. And look at that, 20 amps. Usually it's 25. Now after you start it up, you have to turn it on and off about five times so it can learn what your air conditioner needs. It will have a four step ramp up process and it will optimize for your air conditioner over time. And that's pretty much it. It's just four wires. I know you guys can do this. Just mount it on the wall. It is expensive, but for a lot of you guys, it will save money. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.